In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do this fast forward or rewind TV effect inside of After Effects. It's pretty simple to do, it looks super fire. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. But before we get into After Effects, I wanna let you guys know about my new After Effects plugin, Shake Sauce 2. It's by far the easiest way to apply Shake in After Effects. It has an amazing UI, it's super responsive, and you can even save your own custom presets inside of the plugin and then use them in the future. I'll have it linked down below as well as a seven day free trial. That way you can try it out 100% risk free. If you're an After Effects user, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check it out. Like I said, I'll have it linked down below, but that's enough talking. Let's get into After Effects and break down this effect. So here inside of After Effects, I want to apply the TV rewind effect to the sequence of clips here. I think it's a great way to show a bunch of different clips really quickly because you can kind of speed it up and put it in reverse or just fast forward it really quick. And I think it just fits this like it's all just kind of like match cut here of him opening up this juice. So to get started, I'm going to pre compose the sequence that I want to apply and then open up surveillance. I'll have it linked down below. It's a really good plugin for adding like CRT kind of glitchy looks. So I'm going to go ahead and go to choose footage and then go over to project select on pre comp and then refresh that way it loads up pre comp here going to go ahead and click looks it's going to load a few things in the background and then just like that we have this kind of tv look this isn't exactly what we're going for i think something more similar to one of these later presets like crt warped or crt warped color will look better and then i'm also going to make it 18 frames per second that way it's just a little laggy and then also make the quality just a little bit higher you can see how you can kind of pixelate or make it higher quality i think it looks cool when it's pretty crisp like that and then i'm going to go ahead and click done we can name this crt so now that we have the crt look on here i want to apply that reverse effect so inside of the effects and presets i'm going to drag on an effect called a sapphire tv damage and you can see how this kind of like goes in combination with the effect really really well i'm going to turn down the reception master just a little bit and then turn on the fast forward amount a little bit and what i'm going to do is actually keyframe it so at the beginning it's very subtle go forward a few frames make it intense go forward right to before the end keep it roughly the same keyframe that way it just changes a little bit throughout and then go to the end and make it go down. So it kind of has like this in and out kind of keyframe. And that's where we're gonna go ahead and apply the speed ramp. And you can see how this really together looks really crazy. And now we have the look of like the fast forward in CRT, but it doesn't actually have the fast forward or reverse. So to get that, let's go ahead and right click. And I'm actually gonna reverse our footage first. So go to time reverse. If you don't want it reverse, you just don't do this step here. If you just wanna do a fast forward and then you can right click and go to time and then enable time remapping. So the overall clip is like four seconds. So let's go ahead and make it fast forward and condensed all into one second. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by just taking this keyframe that was over here on the right and dragging it to like around the one second. And now we can go ahead and kind of cut this like this. And now if we play it, you'll see it has this nice reverse effect like this. If you want, you can also add an effect like RSMB on top and maybe even some flicker, turn up the amplitude and the random frequency a little bit. And then you can see how you have this TV look. And if you want it to be a little bit more choppy, you can add on an effect like posterized time and change it to like 12 FPS. And that's just going to make everything just overall a little bit more laggy. You can also change this number. It doesn't have to be 12. It can be something closer to like 18. And you can see how it has a little bit more of like that laggy kind of look, maybe a little bit too laggy for what we want. I know inside of surveillance, we made it 18 frames per second. So let's go ahead and do that for everything else too. And then it's going to kind of line up a little bit better. And as you can see, now we have this reverse style effect. That's pretty much all I got for you guys in this video. If you made it all the way to the end, be sure to drop a like on the video. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that. I'll surveillance and shake sauce to link down in the description. That way you guys can go get it. It's a great way to level up your visuals and also support the channel at the same time. That's pretty much all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.